Hello, this is a very quick look at the Kian C60 HD mini camera. This is very much a GoPro style camera. It measures less than six centimeters across and just under two and a half centimeters. So it's a nice compact camera. You can see the style on this is kept very simple. So you've just got the power mode button on the front. Long hold that to turn it on. There is a screen on the back so you can see the shot you're lining up. Around the top there's the OK button, around the side you've got the menu select and just on this side you've got memory card slot as well as the charging port and HDMI out. It's quite a wide angle lens, you can see the screen goes off automatically if you don't use it for a while. Wide angle lens so you can see it comes into the mini camera shot much quicker than it comes into my main camera's shot. As well as the camera you get a waterproof case. The camera just slots into this and you still have access to all the controls so once it's closed up you've got these buttons around the side that still allows you to make use of all the controls. For example you can select the different modes so you've got video mode, you've got picture mode, you've got slow-mo mode and then you've got the review mode and you can also change the settings. This also has an adapter on the bottom which seems to be a standard GoPro type adapter so I've got this uh, C-shape holder and it slides on that's designed for a GoPro and it's also got Wi-Fi in so if you're using this kind of adapter you could use a mobile as the screen it is a waterproof case I tested that out with the old put a bit of kitchen roll in and submerge it underwater and as you'll see in a second the kitchen roll didn't have any water on it and that's you can just notice in the top right I've actually not closed that properly the uh, the catch isn't on quite straight but yet it still remains waterproof take this out just to demonstrate that See, kitchen towel is perfectly fine. You get a huge range of accessories with this, but unfortunately there's no case to put them in. And that's a real shame because there's so many, you're gonna to need to find a spare box. There is a small manual as well that comes with this, and that will help decipher what all the accessories do. You have to put them together in different combinations. Video quality is okay. It is a wide angle lens, so you do get a bit of fish eyeing around the side, and it will record sound as well. Found the image quality to be a bit better when you hold the camera relatively still. Obviously, there's no stabilization built in, so as long as you keep the camera fairly level and steady, you get a decent image. It's got quite a few modes. I really like the slow mo mode. Note that unlike the iPhone, it doesn't record sound, so you just get the actual slow motion video. It's great fun having a think up what you can use this mode for, and even just everyday things like cooking can be quite interesting to watch in slow motion. You've also got the option to use this as a time-lapse camera and you can adjust how often it takes an image. And I really like the results of this. I think time-lapse can be really beautiful. So overall, I like this little camera. It's got everything you need to get started. It certainly costs an awful lot less than a GoPro. It's just the real shame it doesn't come with some kind of case or something to hold all the accessories in place. I hope you found this short review useful. Thanks for watching.